I just solved the problem that I've been struggling with for a very long time, and that is how to improve the performance of Android Studio. So if you're like me and you've opened up any number of layout files or, yeah, it's mainly layout files, I guess, my Android Studio suddenly starts to crawl and it starts to lag basically, and it becomes uh, unusable at some point if I have enough layout files open. So I've been kind of browsing the developer website, trying to figure out how to solve this problem. And uh, they, have a, they have a page on configuring Android Studio. And I followed this, this, uh, the instructions they have on here, and it didn't really make a difference. Uh, you know, I changed all the settings they told me to, which is the, uh, let's see, the uh, configuration file folder, which is the VM options file. Uh, you can get to it by going up to uh, help and then going to edit or custom uh, VM options and changing some of the settings in here. So as you can see in here, I have 12 gigs of RAM given to my heap, my heap size, my default heap size. And that's massive. I've changed all these numbers to increase a whole bunch of RAM. My system has 32 gigs of RAM, which is massive and uh, you know way over what they recommend. And still down here in this little number, it shows you how much is being used and how much is available. So according to this, uh, it says that my max heap size is 494 megs. That's less than a gig. That's like half a gig. But here it says I'm specifying 12 gigs. So what's going on here? There's a problem. Uh, if you're wondering how to enable this setting, by the way, you just go up to settings, go to appearance, and click show memory uh, indicator. And that will show that uh, little memory indicator down at the bottom here. And that will tell you how much uh, RAM is being used, basically, and how much is available. So how, how did I solve this problem? Now some of you, uh, this might fix your problem right away. So you might just be able to go to help, go to edit custom VM options, change, add this. This value probably won't be added to the file, add that. That will specify a custom heap size value and that should solve your problem. You know, increase this number, increase that number, increase that number, increase that number. Um, based on your system, of course, I have 32 gigs of RAM, so I can, I'm, I'm sparing basically a third of my system's RAM almost to just Android Studio. Um, if I think in the, in the docs, it actually says like you could, uh, a good rule of thumb is to use like half of your system's RAM. I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. But anyway, obviously don't use more RAM than your system has. So definitely look that up first. Um, so if you're like me though, and you've changed these settings and this, uh, this value still hasn't changed, uh, there's a, there's a problem. And I found the problem in the environment variables of my system. So open up your systems, environment variables. You can just, uh, if you're using a windows system, just go to the Cortana. If you're using windows 10 and type environment variables and you'll, you'll get brought to this window, click environment variables. And inside here is the problem. So I had this Java options system variable here that specifies a heap size of 512. So there's that's that's my problem right there. This this value is being used over the one that Android Studio is using. So if I just delete this, click OK, click OK, I'm going to restart Android Studio. So I'm closing that, opening Android Studio up again here, and you'll see how fast this loads now. So there's the loading of uh, just the general loading. I'm going to click on one of my projects and watch how fast it loads. Gradle syncs, do, 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 almost done, done. So very, very fast. Uh, and you can see down here in the corner, now it's using 12, uh, like 12 gigs of RAM, basically. So everything is working. Now my Android Studio should be basically lightning fast compared to what it was before and I should have no more issues. So uh, hopefully this video was helpful and it can help you uh, speed up your Android Studio.